we just got a brand new apocalyptic shadow and this time they chose to bring along your favorite kafka now kafka is known to be annoying because of her mechanics but this time she also has two minions on her side and they hit hard at stage four so it gets really annoying with the cc and all that combination like everything coming together it gets annoying i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna show what i did and give some more ideas right off the bat i do want to say march 7th is awesome she's goaded i don't have her built just yet but just know she's definitely good for this first side so for me personally i went with dr ratio aventurine clara and robin for the first node and i picked the reverse domination and second side firefly doing firefly things we picked firefly ron may gallagher and trailblazer and also put the second buff inexorable charge so more break effect damage so we're gonna explain what actually worked for me and how I actually got through this, because this was actually kind of rough. We'll get everyone's buffs going. Got lucky there. And always do that before you start, because there's no reason not to. Kafka starts off. We'll get hit. But here's the thing. So the absolute best advice I can give if you're playing like a hunt kind of comp don't try and spread your weakness break across two targets. Don't try and use like topaz on this guy and then try to use ratio on this guy. You can, but for me personally, just going one after the other is what did it for me. So we'll do Robin's skill. And then we'll just start going hard on the guy on the left. Like all we have on this guy on the left. Clara does hit Kafka because she hits she hits Clara, so it's kind of unfortunate, but And then use Robin as soon as you possibly can. You can try to save her for later, but you get your your ults back anyway, so I want to protect everyone. As soon as Clara is up, get her going. And you can save your skill points. But basically, you're just making sure that you annihilate one target first. Like, just... Oh! Misplayed there. But just take this guy out. One at a time. There's very little room for error, but as long as you have above, like, 1300 points, you should be able to, to still win it. So now the guy on the left is down, and this guy gets all the weaknesses that the other guy had, too. So now he's just... I'm, I'm not doing anything. He's gone. So, like, I'm telling you, don't try and focus on both at the same time. Just really go hard on, like, one guy. It may not work out like that exactly because there's so much RNG, but that's the best way I figured out how to do this. Just whatever you can do to break weakness as fast as possible. And if for Robin, I'm going to save it here because we're going to get it back. And remember, the second she's broken, you get all your ults back. So try and play around that in mind. And don't use things too early. And then for Clara, I didn't use the ulti when this happens, because there's no point. Uh, Kafka's broken, she can't hit you. So we're just going to save that for when the other enemies come back, because they will come back. And now we're going to just try and take out Kafka the, as fast as we possibly can. You should just restart if you don't one phase right here. If Kafka is still up and the enemies come back, you just need to restart. It's looking kind of close here. I want to just do an E. Just make sure, absolutely sure, she does not get back up early. That should venturing. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is actually a kind of a bad run, but 
So you want to hit Clara faster than that. But I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Thorpe. Get that up. <laughs> That's gonna hit everybody. And once again, guy on the left. Focus everything on the guy on the left. Or maybe I'll take it off. Same thing. If you're playing March 7th, guy on the left. Because we don't want to deal with fire and wind. We don't care about that. Unless that's your main characters are using it. But. We have imaginary and we have physical. So the guy on the left is who we want. At every opportune time. He's down. I don't want to do the E because I want to save the skill points for the other three, but the E will do more break damage. And once both guys are up, Kafka will annihilate you. It doesn't matter what sustain you have. You will get got if both are up at the same time. If this guy's doing that attack and the other guy's breathing fire on you, you're not going to make it. The dice have bust. We're just gonna keep going here. Try and take this guy out as fast as possible. We will use Clara. Robin's gonna be out. Use this again. Just trying our absolute hardest to take this guy out. Remember, your limit is like 1300. Something for everybody. So you know to restart if you get below that. Then about like one more hit, maybe? Yep. So now we need to hurry up and take out Cla uh, Clara. Kafka? Hi, Clara. <laughs> Let's not take out Clara. I'll be bad. We're gonna try to hurry up and break her. If we don't do it fast enough, we're in big trouble. Watch your feet. That's okay. Watch your head. Watch your feet. Watch your head. And thank goodness for this. Or maybe I'll take it off. Zoning out. That's still okay. And then we didn't need to use that fair all there, but. Yeah, it's 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 very close. It is very close. It is very close, but it's the best way I figured out to do it with hunt characters, or mostly hunt characters. And yeah, as long as you finish before 1,300 points, you will be okay. So 1322, very close, but that'll be enough to save you for the next one. It is very close and there's not that much room for air, but that'll work. And as for Firefly, it's very just simple. She does like a very, you know, big blast mechanic, so she's gonna hit all three. But you do wanna be careful on like what you're attacking. So like first, this doesn't really matter because it's imaginary. But when we get to someone like Gallagher, we're gonna go for the one on the right. And then we can pop our ulti too. So we'll hit all three. And then with Ron May, she's ice, so she can hit the one on the far left. The turn there. We can focus on the third one. Metal one. Then we can pretty much just like start the rotation now. So you're distributing everyone's hits on the right pieces so the weakness actually gets broken. And there's definitely misplays here, but from a very simple standpoint, that's where I've found the most success. Ron May will make your break your breakness a lot stronger, so that's gonna definitely help out here. Make sure your skills are up. Do you still break? You will have leeway 
on this on this run, so you don't have to worry about cutting it close. And you can save your ultis because you do have them all up still. And if you don't kill them here, you will certainly kill them with the next couple hits. Or the next Firefly hit. And then that way you have all your ults up for the next rotation. Now all three are up. We'll do Ron May. Trailblazer. And we can go to Gallagher as well. And if he does hit you pretty hard, you can try and save your Gallagher Burst. But I'm going to use it here because we hit all three. They're pretty much just kind of ignoring his mechanics for the most part. Ron May hit on the left. She does get CC, but that is okay. We'll break the second and the right. That will certainly hurt. But it is still okay. And once he gets here, things do get a little scary. But as long as Gallagher is upcoming, he can actually bring somebody back up. And also use Firefly immediately too, I don't know why I waited. And yeah, I mean literally like the next the next Firefly ulti, it's it's over. So you can see we have like 1700 points here. The hard part about this is Kafka. And it's not even the worst thing it could be. And set the sea ablaze. There you go. But you can see when I started the video, I had a better score than that. But just to show you that you can actually make mistakes and slip up as well. But in the end, you should still be able to do it. Uh, definitely a lower score on Kafka because it's just a lot more difficult, in my opinion. And then Doomsday is just kind of like, hey, there's three things to hit and Firefly hits all three of them. <laughs> and she adds weakness as well. So, the right weakness. But yeah. I'll get into the builds here as well. For Dr. Ratio, we are E0. Our skills are 3, 9, 9, 10. So kind of scuffed. Using the Yang Ching Light Cone because we actually lost the Death Ratio one. So we have a, we're coping with the level 70 Yang Ching one. We are 66 over 175 with the Diver of Dead Water set. And we're using a Broken Keel as the two piece for the rope and the planner. For a Venturine, we are also E0. 4988. Landau's Choice. I love this thing. This thing has got me through so much. 24 over 100 with the Knight of Purity Palace set. Um, the defense set, all defense pieces here. And Bellabog of the Architects for the planner and the rope. Now Clara is actually at E3 because I've lost almost every single 50-50 to her. So E3 Clara, 5999, our actual light cone, Sig light cone. A scuffed 44 over 127 with the Duke Inferno set, the follow-up set. Running an inert stiletto. And we're actually using an energy recharge rope. And we have a E0 Robin at 4, 10, 10, 10. So all these are maxed out. We have our light cone as well. So that helps with the flow of combat and energy. And we are a two piece, two piece attack. So we have 4,100 attack, 115 speed, and of course an energy recharge rope. Two piece musketeer of wild wheat and two piece prisoner with the broken keel set. For the second team, we have a E0 Firefly, 6, 10, 10, 10, everything maxed out here. We have our signature light cone. Our speed is 149. We are at 256 break effect at base. And of course, with the buffs, those go up as well. And of course, we're using the brand new iron cavalry set, break effect set, and the new break effect set for the planner and the rope as well. For Ron May, we are also at E0. All the skills are completely maxed out. 6, 10, 10, 10. We have our light cone as well, signature light cone. We're at 232 break effect at base with the messenger speed set. And we have the Pentacony Land of Dreams for the planner and the rope. With an ice damage boost as the planner. That can be interchangeable, but that's what I ended up using with 142 speed. For Trailblazer, I'm lazy. I didn't do all the side quests in Pentacony, so I only have E3. 
it'll be better for you if you have E6. It'll help your Firefly team out a lot. But I'm at 3, 10, 10, 11. Once again, E3 Trailblazer. Uh, S5, Memories of the Past, Light Cone. We are at 134 speed, 210 break effect at base, and we are using Watchmaker 4 piece for the break effect and Sprightly Van Wack. And last but not least, Gallagher at E6, E6 Gallagher, 6, 10, 11, 11 for the skills. We're using the What is Real Light Cone at S5. There are other options for him, of course, but that's what I was using. And he's at 123 speed with a two piece break, two piece break. So Thief and Watchmaker. And he is using Van Wack as well. Uh, definitely better options for a Gallagher build, especially these two here. But that's what I ended up with. But I hope I can help. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in the next one.